questions test previously we looked at an example where we were comparing the quality of two vendors vendor a and vendor b from vendor a we selected 200 items randomly and out of that we found 30 defectives in that from vendor b we selected 100 items and we found out 10 defectives in that so in these two samples from vendor A, we had 15% defectives. From vendor B, we had 10% defective. And we used two proportions method using the pooled approach to see whether there is any significant difference in the quality of these two vendors or not. Now, let's do the same thing using Minitab. So here is my Minitab session open. And what I do is I click on stat and I click on basic statistics and I click on two proportions. So this is the test I want to do. In two proportions test, here is that both samples are in one column. So I don't have anything in column. So what I have is I have summarized the data. So that's what I will select here. That I have summarized the data for vendor A and vendor B or sample 1 and sample 2. In case of sample 1, which is my vendor A, I did 200 trials. I checked 200 items. So I put 200 here and out of these 200 items, number of events and events here is rejection. So number of rejections here were 30. So I put 30 here. Similarly for vendor B, we had 100 items randomly selected and out of that we found 10 defectives. So let's put these two as well. Now let's click on options. Let's see here that confidence level is 95% and that's what we had in the question as well. So let's leave it as it is. Hypothesized difference is equal to zero and that's what we want to check whether there is any significant difference in these two vendors or not. My alternate hypothesis is that difference is not equal to zero and zero is the hypothesized difference. So my alternate hypothesis will be that there is a significant difference in the quality of these two vendors. Now coming to the last item here, which is test method. Test method is estimate proportions separately, which is unpooled method. And in theory, we said that we use pooled method when our hypothesized difference is zero. So now instead of estimate proportion separately, let's click on use the pooled estimate of the proportions. I click on this and I press OK here and I press OK here and this will give me the result of two proportions test. Let's quickly look at this result here. So if I look at descriptive statistics, this tells me that in sample 1, 200 items, 30 events, that means 0.15 is the sample proportion. In case of vendor B, which is sample 2, the sample proportion is 0.10 or 10%. These are my null and alternate hypothesis. My null hypothesis is P1 minus P2 is equal to 0. Alternate hypothesis is that P1 minus P2 is not equal to 0. And here is my Z value, which is 1.20. This is exactly what we found out when we did this calculation manually using the pooled method. There we found out the pooled proportion first and pooled proportion was 20 plus 10 divided by 200 plus 100, which came out to be 0 0.133. And this is what you see here. The pooled estimate of the proportion is 0 0.1333. In any test, when you do it using any software, the most important thing which you want to look at is the p-value. And p-value here, you will see that there are two p-values, normal approximation and Fisher's exact. Here in theory, we talked about normal approximation only. Let's stick to that. So let's forget about Fisher's exact p-value. So here we are interested in the p-value using normal approximation, which comes out to be 0 0.230 which is more than 0 0.05. 0 0.05 was our alpha value. So if P is high, the null fly. Null fly means we stick with the null hypothesis. And null hypothesis is that P1 minus P2 is equal to 0. That means there is no significant difference in the quality of these two vendors. So using these samples, you really cannot say that vendor B has a better quality because in the sample, we got 10% rejected as compared to vendor A for which we got 15% rejected. So statistically, we cannot say that there is any significant difference between these two vendors. So this completes our discussion on two proportions test. Now the next test which we will be discussing is two variances test. 
let's look at that on the next video